Hello, my name is Dr. Saima Ahmed and I'm a GP. Lots of people with diabetes feel quite worried about fasting. Um, the main worry is, is, should I fast? Can I fast? I don't want to miss any fast. Unfortunately, it's not as simple as yes, go and fast. Um, majority of Islamic scholars and um, our imams will say that, you know, speak to your healthcare professionals before the time of Ramadan comes. So it's a common misconception that people often, know, well, we've been brought up in communities where, you know, you must fast, you know, there is, you can't say no. Yes, you can say that, you know, there are certain uh, times that you don't fast. For example, if you're pregnant, you're breastfeeding, or if you have chronic conditions and those chronic conditions are affecting your day to day. So if fasting is detrimental to your health, then you become exempt. And that's clearly written in the Quran. So it's really important then have a chat to your healthcare professional. Maybe you can come up with a plan of what's best for you. But if you're on insulin um, or your diabetes is very uncontrolled or you're very unwell with it, for example, you shouldn't be fasting. And if you shouldn't be fasting, what that means is that you're exempt from fasting. OK, slightly different there. You are exempt. So um, the Islamic advice is that if you're exempt, then you're allowed not to fast. So it's not a sin if you're not fasting. The um, British Islamic Medical Association have lots of great resources um, made by diabetologists, okay, um, to talk about, you know, ways and who shouldn't be fasting and what the reasoning is. Um, there are people, for example, on metformin, so that's one of the tablet therapies of diabetes. You can fast, like we said, um, in some circumstances if you, it, it doesn't cause any detriment to your health. Um, so your metformin dose needs to be altered. So you need to speak to your healthcare professional to get that advice. So it doesn't matter what medication you're on, come and have a chat to us. If we don't know, there's lots of different resources about fasting and we can find that uh, information. And like I said, on the British Islamic Medical Association, anybody can access that information. And it's got really clear guidance of um, who should not be fasting, when fasting isn't advised and when you could fast, fast but you need to get that information from your healthcare professionals. So as a Muslim, um, lots of people ask, you know, what kind of foods um, can I eat when I'm breaking my fast? Um, going back to the healthy eating, I think, you know, we need to just remember healthy eating throughout, whether it's Ramadan or not. Um, Ramadan is a great time, I absolutely love it myself, uh, mainly because you have, again, a whole table of food and everyone gets together and it's family time. Um, so every day is really exciting. The kids are excited, family members, and maybe you're going to family members' homes, um, you're visiting friends and you're breaking your fast together. So um, I absolutely love it. Um, the question does come up though is what kind of food should we be eating? You know, focus on the healthier foods. So if you haven't eaten all day, we generally advise trying to get the water intake in. And that's not just through your glasses of water that you should be drinking, um, but that's also through fruits such as melons, um, watermelons specifically, cucumbers, those kind of um, fruits and vegetables. So one of the key messages and when you're breaking your fast is don't drink lots of water in one go. Maybe have a glass at the beginning and then throughout then the night, um, in between your prayers, for example, after you've had your snacks and food and everything, have some sips of water, but regularly to get that hydration going.